Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Sane Smart Mega four-wheel drive car kit for the Arduino. So we are moving along in our little Arduino track here. I'm interested in learning about Arduino just to understand this whole world of IoT devices. So I would argue when you're thinking about the modern world that you should be thinking about Raspberry Pi and Arduino the way that we used to think about PCs way back in 2005. Basically the idea of if you can assemble IoT devices and build them into some kind of network that can do something useful, then that can be valuable for you. So the idea is instead of setting up 10 computers in a computer lab and selling that, or setting up 100 computers in an office and selling that, the idea is you go to a farm and set up 50 different sensors that can then push information uh, back to a main server. Or you go into an industrial facility and set up all kinds of different devices to be able to track what is going on. Now when you're dealing with the Arduino, what's interesting interesting about the Arduino is you can use it for a number of different things. One of the big things you can use it for is for sensors, so light sensors, temperature sensors, humidity sensors, those type of sensors. But then the other thing that the Arduino is cool for is the fact that you can use it in order to control mechanical devices. So you can use it to control motors and you can use it to control servos, which means, which means you can end up using it to control little autonomous vehicles. So as we go and we start learning more about the Arduino, one of the things that I want to do is start playing with actually being able to create autonomous vehicles to see what the Arduino can really do. It's a cool, fun project. And I also think in this modern world of, you know, whenever we think about autonomous vehicles, we think about our autonomous cars, like autonomous semi-trucks or autonomous cars. And so you think about that, that's big technology. That's a lot of liabilities. That's a lot of rules. That's a lot of regulation. That's something probably none of us that's watching this video want to deal with. On the other hand, what if you had little autonomous vehicles vehicles in order to move inventory around in your warehouse, right? What if you had little autonomous vehicles in order to send mail in your building? What if you could create little autonomous vehicles that would basically go down a hallway and then it would stop at certain doors and people could open open up their door and pick out their mail or something like that? That might be a valuable thing. So why I went out and bought a kit? So I know I get a lot of crap from people. I get crap from people for buying Max. I get crap from people for, for using Final Cut. I just get crap from people from using Wirecast. I get crap from people all the time using dummies books. Oh my god, Eli, you must be stupid. 20 years of experience and you have dummies books. What kind of a moron are you? Well, one of the things that I've always said is what I like about dummies books and what I like about kits is basically you pay... Uh, in order to save time and energy. So what am I interested in with Arduino? I am a professional. I've already done a lot of troubleshooting in my life. I've already done a massive amount of figuring out how things work and duct taping things together. So for me, it's not an important skill to learn how to troubleshoot stuff. I just simply want to be able to dive in and learn the technology. So what's nice about buying a kit like this is that this comes with all the parts. It comes with all the parts. It comes with everything that you need. You can sit there, supposedly, be able to actually build from the kit, get an idea. Oh, okay, so that's what that sensor does. Oh, okay, so that's how I control the, the wheels. Oh, okay, that's, that's, that's how this shield works in this situation. And then from that, I can go build my knowledge. Versus a lot of people, what they do is they say, I, Eli, I'm not, I'm not going to buy a kit. I'm going to buy all these individual components. And the problem is you buy all the individual components. And what if you buy 90% of the right individual components? So you buy the right, right wheelbase, and you buy the right sensor, and you even buy the right shield, but maybe you don't buy the right Arduino board. So you're sitting there, and you're trying to figure out why your contraption isn't working. And the reason is is because you don't have enough power uh, going to your motors, and you didn't realize that because you purchased the wrong little power mechanism for the device. That's what's nice about buying a kit like this, is you just get everything in there, and then in the future... The future, then you get to start playing with stuff. The other thing that I like about this particular kit is this comes with all new parts, as far as I'm concerned. So it comes with the the, the four wheel drive, the wheelbase. It comes with a sensor, but even the Arduino. Uh, remember, with the Arduino boards, there's a lot of different versions of the Arduino board. They came out with the, the standard version of the Arduino board, and then uh, people created their own different versions of it. And so the version of the Arduino that comes on this has more inputs on it too. So it actually 
actually allows for more sensors and more motors and all that kind of stuff than the normal Arduino board. So that's the other nice part with this kit is I actually don't get any replication of the parts that I already have in my starter kit. So this basically is just a bunch of new parts that I get to, to, to put into my little tool bucket. So when I go to buy things in the future. Now, if you're interested in one of these things, uh, if you go over, you take a look at the website. Uh, this is the Sane Smart. So S-A-I-N-S-M-A-R-T. Uh, and all this is a Sane Smart full wheel drive car mega 2560 plus sensor shield plus 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 and you go here and you can see if you buy it uh, off of their website it comes out to $80 I went and I actually bought this at Micro Center I really do like Micro Center and for whatever reason it was only $45 there uh, so it might be might be a good thing to go check out your Micro Center you might be able to, to save some money on it but it goes through it tells you so you get the same smart you get the, the 2560 the mega board uh, uh, so this has uh, 54 digital input output pins. So it allows you to put a lot more sensors on there. Obviously, it comes with the uh, the the, ro the four wheel drive robot platform. It comes with the H bridge uh, in order to deal with your motors. Enables the signal volt range and it has the ultrasonic uh, distance sensor. So all this stuff comes in the kit. And so this is why I'm interested in it, and that's why I'm very curious about doing the unboxing today. So before we get into the unboxing, we do have to talk about our sponsors, because the sponsors are what? Who, the people are to help pay the bills. We have Cumulus Networks. Cumulus Networks wants to know your thoughts on web scale networking. Fill out their survey, and you could win an Apple Watch. CumulusNetworks.com forward slash Eli. Geist. Geist builds and delivers rack PDUs ultra quick in as few as five days for standard units. Made in America. Hashtag sexy PDUs. GeistGlobal.com. Veeam. Free backup for PCs, VMs, and Linux. All at Veeam.com. Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is 12-week web development, iOS, and UX design bootcamp, and tend to do a full-time job in the industry. Learn to code at DevMountain.com. I N INE, INE specializes in network training with hands-on labs, on-site boot camps, and a focus on delivering the best in online networking courses at INE.com. Plixer with Screenizer and Flowdata. Users can determine what traffic is on network, who is urging traffic, and who is receiving it at Plixer.com. And finally, Gilware Data Recovery. Gilware partners with IT professionals to offer their end users data recovery services and digital forensics. Find out more at Gilware.com. As I always say, don't really care if you thumb down, thumb up, thumb down, leave a comment, or subscribe. But if you click on those sponsor links below, that's what helps pay the bills so I can do classes like this and also keep SiliconDiscourse.com alive. So now that we've got the sponsors out of the way, let's get into the unboxing. So this is completely and utterly sealed. I don't do these cheesy unboxings like other people do where they've already opened it before. And then they, then they lay everything out all perfectly. With me, I pull out my nasty little knife. I crack the thing open, and then we get to see all the parts. So let's go over uh, to my little, uh, my little desk my little desk camera, so we can do the unboxing. You can see, you can see that uh, some people have been laughing uh, at me because I've been talking about, I've actually started reading Karl Marx. So, these books literally are sitting on my desk right now. So a lot of people have been asking about with the whole AI revolution and the, the, the revolution of robotics uh, about what I think will happen. And honestly, honestly, <laughs> I started thinking about it a lot. and was like, you know what, you know what, I think... I think there was a guy a uh, hundred and some odd years ago that was talking about capitalism and the danger of overproduction. Uh, so I actually started reading Karl Marx. Pretty good stuff. If you have not read the Communist Manifesto, um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you don't got to agree with it. There is some scary stuff. Don't give me. There's some interesting stuff in here and some scary stuff in here. But as far as AI and robotics is concerned, you may you may want to pull out the Marx. I have to say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with the Communist Man Manifesto. Uh, again, to be clear, to be clear, there's a couple of parts that are utterly horrific. <laughs> there's a couple of parts that are utterly horrific. But otherwise, uh, but yeah, got that. And then, uh, then of course, of course, this is the light reading. This is the reading I'll get done tomorrow. And then if you're really, if you're really going to understand something, then you got to really dive into it. Uh, but the reason that I show you this, I know some people right now are freaking horrified that I'm showing you Karl Marx. But this is one thing that I try to tell folks in the technology world is you do need to be thinking about things outside of te technology, outside of Arduino and Raspberry Pi and Ruby on Rails and AI and machine learning. The question that you have to be asking yourself is, again, what problems are you trying to solve? Uh, what, what is the paradigm that you are approaching the world from? And by reading smart people, uh, you could figure that out. Again, whether or not you like karma. Oh, don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Some of the stuff in the, the Communist Manifesto, you're like, ah! 
gag. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Apparently you did. But anyways, so this is our little box here. Not, not a bad size box. Flip this thing over, crack it open, and we shall, oops, we shall see what is inside. Uh, so the reason that I'm doing these these kind of little unboxings too is just to to give you a, a guys an idea, guys and girls an idea of what you can expect in these kits. And I will be doing more advanced classes on the Arduino shortly. I think my first uh, my first real class in the Arduino will probably be um, on Friday. So okay, so basically with that, you guys have a crappy thing and that goes away, and then you get to open up the real box. Oh look at that! So you open up the real box. You got all little kinds of parts inside. Okay, so we have the mega board in here. So this is the Arduino mega board that they oh so nicely put in a static bag. Don't they have a little cut thing for the stat? Ugh, anyways, that's why we have a knife. Okay, <laughs> let's see if I cut myself doing this. Okay, so this is the mega Arduino board. Uh, so this is the big Arduino board with the 50 sum. So these are the additional uh, digital inputs. Now, by comparison, just so you know how this is different, is this right here. So this is the original Uno board. So this is an official Uno board out of the official Arduino kit. And so this then is the mega board. So when you start thinking about what is the actual difference, uh, it's a pretty significant actual difference. So you can see the headers on the, the basically the, the first two sets of headers more or less line up, uh, but then you've got a whole bunch of additional ones down there. So that'll be cool, especially for creating like autonomous vehicles. Then you can put multiple sensors. So that's the thing is like when you start thinking about things like range sensors, well, then you got you have to put a range sensor on the front. And if you put it on the front, you probably should put one on the back. And if you put it on the back, eh, you might also want to put it on the sides. And then you might want different, maybe you want infrared sensors or something else. So it's good to see that you can put lots of different sensors on there. So that's kind of cool. And you can also see that the board just looks different all the way, you know, in some different ways. Um, got the reset button right there. I'll be curious. So there we go. So that that's the uh, that's the mega board for you. And then let's see. We got the wheels, of course. Crack open the, the little wheel bag here. Uh, so these feel feel like pretty decent little wheels. <laughs> they even got tires. They're actually like it's kind of funny. They squish a little bit. So so that's right. If you start off roading with your little four wheel drive thing, it'll have a little bit of suspension to it. But they've got tires here. That's kind of nice. They don't look completely crappy. They're definitely they're definitely not like highest end stuff but they feel pretty durable so that's pretty good there uh they got the battery pack for you so one of the questions is how are you going to power this whole thing so i got a little battery pack for you and then oh what is this we got a shield i think we have a shield so shields are add-on boards to give you extra functionality for your uh for your arduino and I think this is the motor or and servo shield. Uh, so if we take a look at this, uh, again, I haven't played with a project yet now, so I don't know. But we have out three, out four, out one, out two, enable. So they got like, I think these are jumpers. These are jumpers right here, probably to set what the power range is. Then the volts, five volt in and ground. So what I would guess here is taking a look at it is this is where the power goes in. So basically the power comes in here and then these are the two outputs for power. Uh, so most likely since it's a little four wheel drive vehicle, I would probably, I would bet, I don't know yet. I would bet probably one side goes to power the wheels on one side and the other side goes to power the wheels on the other side uh, would be my guess there. So that's a little shield. That's kind of interesting. It doesn't, I don't know. Is that a shield then? Eh, I'm still learning all this stuff. Eh, crack this thing open. I know a lot of people laugh too, like when it's like, oh, I don't know the answers to a lot of things. But one of the things I'm also trying to show you folks is that real geeks learn, right? Real geeks don't just know all this stuff from the get-go. They've got to figure it out themselves. Oh, okay, so this, no, this is the sensor shield. Okay, so this actually says sensor shield 5.0. So this must just be, this is a module or something. Okay, so the sensor shield, so when we talk about shields, they then go on top, right? So which way does it go? Okay, is that how it goes? That must be how it goes. Yeah, so then this, see how, see how they, the connector is on the bottom? So my guess is, off the top of my head, 
you probably squish it in like this. And then that's basically what you're essentially doing is you're doing an add-on card for the Arduino. So this should allow me to connect different sensors so that the device can see different things. I don't know what the hell any of this crap means. Analog. So it's got some analog in. It's got LCD parallel, LCD serial. So maybe you can add an LCD monitor. Got some interesting stuff going on. So that looks pretty cool right there. So that's a sensor shield that goes on top. Um, then, of course, we've always got the, the bag of nuts and bolts. That's something that you always need. Uh, then what is this thing? Uh, crack this open. <laughs> I, I am so worried like, with this knife. Like, no, I'm not used to like using a knife while I'm talking into a camera. It's, I'm so worried I'm going to like slice myself open while you folks are watching. Maybe that'll be good. May, maybe that. Maybe that would get me some more viewers going into the future. Look at Eli the computer guy. Slice himself open with a knife. Anyways, uh, so these must be the metal parts. Oh, so that's a kind of a pain in the butt. So I was, I was kind of thinking the whole wheelbase and everything would already be put together for you. So I guess the pain in the butt here is that you've got to put that together. Which, I mean, I guess it's not horrible. But it is something that, you know, if you're time constrained, you should probably realize. Yeah, so I was thinking when I looked at the web page, like if you look at the web page here, see how that bottom thing is all kind of assembled? I, I kind of sort of thought you would get it just like that already assembled. Again, not a, not a horrible big deal, but it does appear that you have to put all this stuff together. So I guess that's the front of it. There's the front. And there's the back or the front, and then these are the plates. Now, what was interesting with getting getting this type of thing, instead of just simply connecting uh, wheels to, to whatever you build, what's kind of cool with this is, is it actually gives you, like, the mounting brackets. So this allows you to be able to mount. So you can mount the Arduino board on here, and then you can mount other stuff on here, and it just gives you a nice little platform for being able to mount stuff. I don't know. You might even be able to mount stuff on the bottom, although it doesn't look like it has the uh, the clearance to allow you to do much of that. Uh, and then beyond that, then we have wheels. So these must be the wheels for this thing. And since it's four-wheel drive, all the wheels have motors. So these – these oof. it's got some kind of grease on them. Oh, okay, so these, these are the motors. So the motors, then, you connect this into this, however, and then I guess – See how there's a little thing there? And so then you just slip these on, and now you have a wheel with a motor. And so you put that all the way around. You put four of these, and then you've got a four-wheel drive mechanism there. That's kind of cool. So it looks like you can pop out the motors if you really wanted to. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I guess there's a grease on it, though. It's kind of weird, like... Ew, ew, there's a grease. Uh, then beyond that, so we got the wheels, so we got the, the Arduino and the server shield and some kind of motor thing going on here and the motors and the frame. And then this is the sensor, so they give us one one range sensor, uh, so then we'll be able to play with it that way. So what's cool, cute, interesting about this then is if you have the thing running around autonomously, and this is why you have to think about things like sensors, then it can only sense in the front. So if you're having this thing, like, go back and forth. Like, let's say, let's say you have the vehicle and it's moving forward, and then you say if it moves forward and it detects something, then kind of, like, back up and turn. That is one question you have to ask yourself. Is this, if there's no sensor in the back, will it, just, will it just start going backwards? And even if it hits something, keep going backwards? I don't know. It's something to think about. Uh, so you got that. Then of course you've got the little USB thing in order to, to code and all that for the uh, for the board. And then you have some wires here. Kind of sort of unimpressed with these wires. Not really sure what's going on. They got little connectors on the bottom of these wires, and these tops are bare. So I'll be curious to see what's going on with that. And uh oh, is there no instructions to this thing? Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, you're not just smart, you're saying smart. An aluminum bodied Arduino controlled robot kit for all skill levels. With simple instructions and room for customization, this model runs on Arduino Mega 2560 and can be modified with sensors, servos, ba ba ba. Includes. Includes the Mega. So we got the Mega. We got the sensor module. 
We got the four-wheel drive aluminum stuff. Oh, so this is an H-bridge. So this is the dual H-bridge DC motor driver. We got the ultrasonic thing, and we have the electric motors. But <laughs> where are the instructions? Mommy, where, where are the instructions? Uh, did I miss something here? I don't think I missed something here. Did you hide it? Is it in the Communist Manifesto? Okay, everybody. Let's let's see what Karl Marx has to say about Arduinos. No, that's not there. Uh-oh. Um, here. <laughs> this might be... Hmm. This might be a little little thing. Because they said, man, they, they, they said... Um, ah, come on. Of course, it's being a pain in the ass today. Uh, tutorial. Oh, right, let's do the tutorial. Please visit Wiki page for more info on this product. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um not actually joking here what uploader file upload uploads user picks what the hell is this i don't mommy i don't i don't understand uh here wait a minute let me um so what do we say uh, sane, smart, four-wheel drive, mega instructions. <laughs> uh, installation manual? I don't know. Um, obstacle avoidance PDF? Um, okay, installation manual. The parts... No, that's not that's not what I'm talking about here. Huh. Uh smart car kit instructions, six steps. Uh car kit. Okay, so these are some instructions. Wiring switch. But they're showing like some kind of switch on here. And they show that. Like, there's no instructions. Arduino four-wheel drive assembly. Thingverse. All right, well, <laughs> I may have to complain to these folks. Um, here are the current updated code. The robot build and my other. Here's the current code information. The code is not optimized. You will need to modify the code. Yeah, okay. Well, I may I may not like the whole sane thing. Like where's download four wheel drive sane smart four wheel drive mobile car obstacle avoidance. Weld leads on the four ports of the DC gear motor. Assemble four wheel drive uh, testing program. Const echo pin. Huh. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will have to ping these folks on what the hell their instructions are. So, ultrasonic distance sensor, step motor, robot platform, shield, Uno. Yeah, yeah, I don't... That's that's weird, because, I mean... Hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess, I, I guess I'm going to have to, like, ping them, because... An aluminum body Arduino controlled robot kit for all skill levels with simple instructions and room for customization. Yeah, there's no there's no there's no simple instructions. And there is room for customization, but I don't I don't understand. So okay. So yeah, there you go. So all the packaging was intact. I was a little concerned I was a little wondering if um Maybe it was like a used kit, but all the packaging was intact. It just doesn't have any instructions to it. Oh, okay. There's a switch in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, there is a little power switch. Okay, so there's a power switch in there. There's other some kind of other connector on here. So they do have the power switch and connector. But I have no idea. There is no paperwork. There is no paperwork in here on what the hell I'm supposed to do with this stuff. So I guess, I guess that's the warning. I guess that's the warning. The good part is... It does seem like it comes with a lot of good little parts here that'll be fun to play with. The bad parts is it doesn't tell you what the hell to do with them. <laughs>
So I guess I will I will put a little annotation in the bottom once I contact Sane Smart to to ask them what the hell the instructions for this thing are. Uh, but with that, that's that's about it. That's about it. So this is if you're interested in it. Uh, this is the Sane Smart Mega Four Wheel Drive Car Kit. Uh, it comes with four uh, motors and gearboxes. It comes with four wheels. It comes with a power supply. It comes with the things to, to build the chassis. It comes with the, the H thing. It comes with a sensor. It comes with the mega board. And it comes with the, the sensor shield. And it looks like it looks like a good kit. If I knew what the hell to do with it. If I knew what the hell to do with it. So. So with that, uh, we'll call it a day. If you haven't joined SiliconDiscourse.com, you might want to think about joining SiliconDiscourse.com so you can ask me questions, talk to the community, so on and so forth. You can go to SiliconDiscourse.com to check that out. Regardless, I, uh, I enjoyed taping this video. <laughs> I enjoyed taping this video, as long as I get instructions somewhere. Uh, and with that, uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next one.